Hello everyone, sorry for that glitch, but hello everyone, it's I, the Tripler. So, it's currently uh, 6.05 right now where I am. I've woken up, and uh, I've been struck with a great idea I want to do. Um, here for the past three nights now, I've been uh, able to remember the dreams I've been having, and I've been writing them down, making a dream log of sorts and whatnot. Oh, also, sorry for the quality of this video. Uh, I've realized that there's a, like a constant staticky sound whenever I record with my tablet, and I don't know why that is. So I'm assuming that it's the tablet being broken. But if it's in this as well, then it's something else in my room that I don't hear right now. But uh, yeah, back to the point. I've been recording my dreams, I remember, into this little dream log right here. And uh, I've also heard that, you know, if you do that, you're able to lucid dream and whatnot. And I've never been able to do that in my life. So that's one reason I'm actually recording my dreams into this little log, this little notebook right here. But um, what I want to do, what I thought would be a pretty kind of cool, fun idea, of, you know, whatever, is to give you all a look inside of my unconscious mind and, you know, read you some of the dreams I've gotten uh, written down. I figured since it's been three days and I've got exactly three dreams and I like threes, so let's go ahead and do a video today about it. So let's find out. Let me get to the page. Uh, also, my handwriting is god awful. You can't see it, but it's god awful. Because I suck at writing. I rarely do. But what I want to do is try to read what I write. And let's get to the first night. Dream Log 1. Last night, I dreamt that I was in Florida. There was a store. The black clerk there, who who works there, and who knows me, he always leaves me a gift. I won't say what the gift is, but he always leaves me a gift outside. And he always leaves it outside the store as a gift to me. This has happened twice now. Yeah, see, that's how my mind works. I can't explain that one. That was the first night. Give me a break. Bring two. This is, yeah, two nights ago. Yeah. Uh, dream Log 2. I was at a mall of some kind with a friend. Some girl, I think. At four quarters and was at some machine. I make 20 bucks with the four quarters out of the machine. Later on, I find 20 more bucks that someone dropped. Someone saw me, picked it up, and nodded at me. I'm now waiting outside for a ride. I get picked up. It's a black car of some kind, like a hearse. Inside is my friend Joseph. We talk, but I can't remember what was said. We arrive at his house, and I see Ivy, Darla, Raven, and Joey. And then I wake up. For those of you who don't know, that's been, that's like my second family. It's my friends, and then my, literally, an entire life, like, since I was two or three. I've known them that long. And now here's Dream 3, which was last night, the one I woke up from today. I was in Bayou George. That's in Florida. Point, just more fact. I was in Bayou George at my old house. My friend Bo's house was replaced by a huge rock cave-like structure. Like, so imagine, like, a huge rock, and, like, in it is a cave, and it goes down. But the rock itself is not connected to the ground, so... That's how dreams work, nigga. Leading deep down in the cave before anything seems like a house. So, down in the cave, it goes down deep. Apparently. It goes down really deep before anything seems like a, like a house. I was there gathering food. The kitchen was my kitchen from the house I live in now. The house I'm in now. And there, in the microwave, was human skulls. I don't know why. I was there assuming I was alone gathering the food. I was not. Flash to me having a plate of food. It had toast and eggs on it. And I walked out and find someone inside the cave with me. It's my friend Nia's sister. I don't think she has a sister in real life, so that's just what I'm saying is happening in my dream, because that's what the connection was in my dream. I don't fucking know. It's a dream. Give me a break. 
who then chases me through the cave along with Nia chasing me as well. I get home and I turn around and tell Nia I'll explain later as the door shuts. I remember I had to get food for my dogs. That's why I was in the cave. Then I wake up at 5.45. And that's it. That's all that happened. So, yeah. That's what my mind's like, honestly. So crazy random bullshit that I kind of believe has meaning. I'm not even getting it. To me, it's like something's happening. I don't know what, but I know something's happening. I know it's going to sound crazy, but I've already talked to my family about this. But, like, I legit believe that the... You know how, like, we have the living world, the one we're in right now, the one you're watching this video in, you know? And then we have the dreamscape, the dream world, where, you know, everyone goes. Now, yeah, scientifically, because science has proven, you know, what the fuck ever, that it's a liquid in our brain. Kind of basically, that it's t basically DMT or some shit like that in our brain that makes us have dreams and whatnot. That's what causes dreams. But, now, to me... I literally, seriously believe that the dreamscape is the same as the living world. So, like, say, if I go to sleep tonight and you go to sleep tonight, you're in your dream and I'm in my dream. Both of those dreams are on the same plane of existence. Like, it's just like state one and state two. Like, from Bama to Florida, your dreams in Florida, my dreams in Bama, but we're the same a plane of existence. We're not in a different, you know, what the fuck ever. We're not in our individual selves. We're in an actual state. Like, you know, if it was, if sleeping was a video game, and, you know, the dreamscape was an online multiplayer, uh, free roam map. That's what it is. That's what I believe it is. Now, yeah, there's no way to prove this. There's no way to ever test this. This is something I truly believe. Because I don't know why. I just do. And I'm going to find a way to prove it. I know I sound crazy, but I'm serious. I'm going to find a way to prove it. But yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed uh, looking inside my un unconscious mind. That's all I got time for. I didn't think I'd go this long. I thought I was going to end like three minutes, whatever. But uh, I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts. Uh, Set to the void and join the paradox if you haven't already. And for me, do me the hugest favorite world. Stay beautiful.